What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today. We're gonna take a look at Sony's autofocus system today. We're gonna jump right into it because I feel like it might be a little bit confusing to some people. There's a lot of different modes and a lot of different settings. Mainly we're gonna take a look at some of the main modes that you would use for portrait photography and you know, I feel like it could get confusing for some people with there's eye autofocus and face detection and you know, zone and wide. And All right, so the first AF mode we're gonna look at is wide and that's basically the entire frame across the sensor and uh, you'll kind of see a framing. It's not 100% to the edge, but in this mode, it basically just focuses on whatever's closest to the camera. So Marissa, you can move around in the frame there, side to side. You can see it's gonna stay locked onto her. But the main reason why you wouldn't always wanna use this mode is if someone walked in front. So I'll get Milos to walk in front here. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna lock onto him because he's gonna be the closest object in the frame right now. So if you're trying to focus on someone in front of you, you wouldn't really wanna use this mode. But I feel like most people generally use this mode because it just kind of tracks whatever's in the frame. Um, so now I'm gonna switch it to face detection on and show you what that looks like. So we go to face priority, turn that on. So now it's gonna lock onto her face and she can move around, same, same thing. It's gonna stay side to side, wide all over the whole frame. And then if Milo, she walk in front of that frame, it might jump to his face. So it kind of works the same way, except it's using face detection. And I generally don't really like this mode. So I'll show you the mode that I would use instead. All right, so now I'm gonna take it out of wide and face detection, and I'm gonna set it to where I would normally set the camera for a scene like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the focus area and set it to flexible spot small, which allows you to actually move the focus point around. So if you move the joystick, you can basically set the autofocus point anywhere you want, and it's gonna focus on that spot. Um, obviously you can see that the face detection box is still showing and I'm gonna turn off face detection because I generally don't like it on. And what I've actually done instead is I've programmed the IAF to the AF on button and that way I can trigger the eye detection when I want it to come on and keep it off when it's actually not locking on. And I'll show you in a bit what I mean when it doesn't actually lock on to the eye. And uh, I was actually on the A7R, A7 III forum and this wedding photographer was having a hard time uh, with the new firmware on the A7R III where you actually don't even have to program the IAF button anymore. It actually will just go off with the shutter button. And sometimes you don't want that because sometimes it's not gonna work the way you want. And I'm gonna show you in a second here what could happen where it might actually focus on the wrong face and then you lose the shot. So right now I've got a flexible spot so I can basically set the focus point anywhere I want. So right now I've got it on her face or I could trigger it with the AF on button and it's gonna lock onto her eye. But if we introduce someone else into the shot here and she looks away, it's gonna jump to the wrong face. And keeping the flexible spot small, I can actually keep that on her face and uh, kind of manually lock it onto her instead of someone else. Okay, so I'm gonna do eye detection on you. Uh, Milo should walk into the shot now and kind of look towards the camera. It's gonna lock onto your face. But what if I wanted Marissa's face? Okay, so right now it's tracking your face. And if you were to look away, it's now focusing on Milos's face. And that's maybe not what I wanted. So if like, uh, Marissa, if you're walking towards me, it's gonna be focusing on the wrong face. So I, I can use flexible spot to actually put it onto her face and then track her face when it loses it. And then that way we don't really actually lose the shot. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into the menu here and I'm gonna show you how to actually set up AF on. I actually made a video about the A7 III buttons and how to actually set that up, but I'm gonna show you how to do that here. Number two, we're gonna go down to custom key and I'm gonna go over to three and we're gonna set the AF on button to IAF. And then that way you can actually just trigger it on and off right off the camera here. And again, as I mentioned, the new firmware will actually allow you to not do that and actually be able to do IAF right from the shutter button, but as I kind of showed, it doesn't really work the best sometimes. I'm gonna take some photos of us here and show you what happens when her face, her eye gets out of the frame. So right now I've got flexible spot aimed kind of at her face, but right as soon as I hit the AF on button, it's gonna lock onto her eye. But if you were to look away, Marissa, uh, look down or cover your face, Say you were like bringing your hand around like that, I'd be like, oh no, I can't actually get that in focus anymore. I can use flexible spot to at least focus on her hair. And then when she brings her hand back down, I can focus back on her eye. So it, this is just the way I've been doing it. I feel like it works the best that way. Um, might as well take a shot here. Is that a Pokemon shirt? <laughs> Three, two, one. 
see the eye detection is working perfect right now, but I've had times where, you know, it's it's not always working perfect. Like if you were to look off towards this direction, it doesn't know what to focus on right now. So that's when I switch back to flexible spot. And then I know I'm gonna make sure that I'm actually in focus. Cool, okay, we got a couple shots in there. That really wasn't the intention of this video, but it just <laughs> at least shows like how it would focus if it lost your eye. All right, so I got the A6400 set up right now, and I'm gonna show you guys how to turn on object tracking. So you're gonna go to the function button and focus area, and we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom, and it's called tracking expandable flexible spot. We're gonna select that. And now we have basically a focus box that we can move around. I still have face detection turned on, but when you half press the shutter, it's gonna lock onto her. And Marissa, you can move around now, like turn around walk away, walk towards me, and, and spin while you're walking towards me so that your face isn't on me. And now you can walk like left and right, uh, get back a little bit, and then I'll get Milos to walk into the frame and turn around Marissa and walk over each other. <laughs> anyway, I kind of feel like this kind of gives the idea of how object tracking works. It's something that my a7 III doesn't have, so it's pretty cool to have it on this. Um, I might get you to actually walk behind the fence here and show how it tracks you through the fence and everything. Man, the IAF on this a6400 is amazing. So now you're behind the fence. It still should be focused on you and not the fence. Oh, it lost you because you went into the shade. Let me bump my exposure up a bit here. There's also a bar right in front of your face, yeah. so that doesn't really help that much. All right, I think, I think that's kind of a good test to show here. Yeah, the A6600, the A6100 all has this new autofocus system. So uh, yeah, if you wanna try the expanded flexible tracking, it's pretty awesome. I didn't expect this video to go here, but uh, that's where we're at. Anyway, if you learned something, give this video a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I can't do this video anymore. I quit YouTube. I don't know, am I, am I explaining this well enough? Anyway, if you learned something, Give this video a thumbs up. All right, do kids like Sony? I heard one kid say I have to pee.